Unit 30. Toxi 10 slash Tenotechni slash Techno Long Idio AER slash Arrow CAD Trib Words from Mythology and History. Toxi comes from the Greek and Latin words for poison, something the Greeks and Romans knew a good deal about. Socrates died by taking a solution of poison hemlock, a flowering plant much like wild carrot that now also grows in the US Rome's enemy Mithridates, king of Pontus, was obsessed with poisons, experimented with them on prisoners, and tried to make himself immune to them by eating tiny amounts of them daily. Nero's mother Agrippina poisoned several of her son's rivals to power, and probably did the same to her own husband, the Emperor Claudius. Toxin A substance produced by a living organism, such as bacteria, that is highly poisonous to other organisms. Humans eat rhubarb stems without ill effects, while cattle may die from eating the leaves, which seem to contain two different toxins. Long before chemists started creating poisons from scratch, humans were employing natural toxins for killing weeds and insects. For centuries South American tribes have used the toxin karari, extracted from a native vine, to tip their arrows. The garden flower, called wolfsbane or monkshood, is the source of aconite, an extremely potent toxin. The common flower known as jimsonweed contains the deadly poison scopolamine. And the castor oil plant yields the almost unbelievably poisonous toxin, called ricin. Today we hear health advisors of all kinds talk about ridding the body of toxins, but they're usually pretty vague about which ones they mean, and most of these toxins wouldn't be called that by biologists. Toxicity, the state of being poisonous, the degree to which something is poisonous. Though they had tested the drug on animals, they suspected the only way to measure its toxicity for humans was by studying accidental human exposures. Toxicity is often a relative thing, in the words of a famous old saying, the dose makes the poison. Thus, it's possible to die from drinking too much water, and lives have been saved by tiny doses of arsenic. Even though botulinum toxin is the most toxic substance known, it's the basic ingredient in Botox, which is injected into the face to get rid of wrinkles. With some poisons, mere skin contact can be lethal, others are lethal when breathed into the lungs in microscopic amounts. To determine if a chemical will be officially called a poison, researchers often use the LD50 test, if 50 mg of the substance for every kilogram of an animal's body weight results in the death of 50% of test animals, the chemical is a poison. But there are problems with such tests, and toxicity remains a very individual concept. Toxicology, a science that deals with poisons and their effect. At medical school he had specialized in toxicology, hoping eventually to find work in a crime laboratory. Even though most of us are aware of toxicology, primarily from crime shows on TV, toxicologists actually do most of their work in other fields. Many are employed by drug companies, others, by chemical companies. Many work for the government, making sure the public is being kept safe from environmental poisons in the water, soil, and air, as well as unhealthy substances in our food and drugs. These issues often have to do with quantity, questions about how much of some substance should be considered dangerous, whether in the air or in a soft drink, may be left to toxicologists. But occasionally a toxicology task may be more exciting, for instance, discovering that what looked like an ordinary heart attack was actually brought on by a hypodermic injection of a paralyzing muscle relaxant. Neurotoxin a poisonous protein that acts on the nervous system. From her blurred vision, slurred speech, and muscle weakness, doctors realized she had encountered a neurotoxin, and they suspected botulism. The nervous system is almost all-powerful in the body. All five senses depend on it, as do breathing, digestion, and the heart. So it's an obvious target for poisons, and neurotoxins have developed as weapons in many animals, including snakes, bees, and spiders. Some wasps use a neurotoxin to paralyze their prey so that it can be stored alive to be eaten later. Snake venom is often neurotoxic, as in cobras and coral snakes, for example, though it may instead be hematoxic as in rattlesnakes and coppermouths, operating on the circulatory system. Artificial neurotoxins, called nerve agents, have been developed by scientists as means of chemical warfare, luckily, few have ever been used. 
Ten slash tenu comes from the Latin tenuous, meaning thin. So to extend something is to stretch it, and lots of things get thin when they're stretched. The ten root is even seen in pretend, which once meant to stretch something out above or in front, that something came to be a claim that you were something that you actually weren't. Tenuous, having little substance or strength, flimsy, weak. It's a rather tenuous theory, and the evidence supporting it has been questioned by several researchers. Something tenuous has been stretched thin and might break at any time. A person with a tenuous hold on his sanity should be watched carefully. If a business is only tenuously surviving, it will probably go bankrupt in the next recession. If there seems to be only a tenuous connection between two crimes, it means the investigators have more work to do. Attenuated thinned or weakened. The smallpox shot is an injection of the virus in an attenuated form too weak to produce an actual case of smallpox. A friendship can become attenuated if neither person bothers to keep in touch. Radio waves can become attenuated by the shape of the landscape, by foliage, by atmospheric conditions, and simply by distance. Factory workers and rock musicians often use noise attenuating ear plugs to save their hearing. To attenuate something isn't to stop it, just to tone it down. Extenuating partially excusing or justifying. A good college rarely accepts someone who has dropped out of high school twice, but in his case, there were extenuating circumstances, including the death of both parents. Extenuating is almost always used today, before circumstances. Extenuating circumstances are an important concept in the law. If you steal to feed your children, you're naturally less guilty than someone who steals just to get richer. If you kill someone in self-defense, that's obviously an extenuating circumstance that makes your act different from murder. Juries will usually consider extenuating circumstances, even when they're instructed not to, and most judges will listen carefully to an argument about extenuating circumstances as well. And they work outside of the courtroom as well, if you miss your daughter's performance in the middle school pageant, she may forgive you if it was because you had to race Tigger to the vet's emergency room. Distended stretched or bulging out in all directions, swelled. All the children's bellies were distended, undoubtedly, because of inadequate nutrition or parasites. Before giving you a shot, the nurse may wrap a rubber tube around your upper arm to distend the veins. When the heart isn't pumping properly, the skin of the feet and ankles may become distended. A doctor who notices that an internal organ has become distended will always want to find out the cause. As you can see, distended tends to be a medical term, 